Hey guys, welcome back to the news. The former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, has revealed that Nigeria was on a break of losing a lucrative $280 million communications deal. It's more of a telecommunications deal, which could have been sold for a mere $3 million to the associate of the then head of state, General Abdusalami Abubakar during the transmission from landlines to mobile phones. Obasanjo said the intervention of his administration to auction the deal instead paved the way for competition and financial gains that sprouted the growth of telecom industry in Nigeria. Speaking at the launch of the Catalyst, Nigerian ICT evaluation through a journalist lens, a book authored by the former Punch newspaper editor, Mr. Dayo Oke Tola in Lagos. Obasanjo revealed that his predecessor, General Abdusalam Abdusalami Abubakar, had been on the verge of awarding the contract for just ter- for just three million dollars. The story of the telecommunications, particularly mobile telecommunication, is a very interesting one and before the mobile telecommunications nigeria has spent a lot of company where nigeria had all sort of companies nigeria has spent a lot of money where nigeria had all sort of companies invited from america from france and even from britain but they couldn't get more than um five hundred thousand lines and people had to queue at the telephone kiosk to call their loved ones abroad and then of course the mobile telephone age came in Basanjo explained that as nigeria prepared to introduce mo- mobile phone services major telecommunications company were keen to enter the market however the deal was at risk of being handed to the close associate of General Abdul Salami for a fraction of its value. He described how his administration's decision to auction the contract saved the country from losing out on the full potential of this opportunity. So, my country people, this is very interesting. You know? Obasanjo, however, credited the auction with the fostering healthy competition in the industry as major telecom companies like MTN, Glow, and Airtel have begun to dominate the Nigerian market, where he further noted that the entry of Etisalat, now Nine Mobile, into the market came with an even higher price tag of $450 million. So, guys, this is really interesting, you know. At times, they refer to the people refer our internet to Obasanjo internet. The former president emphasized that Nigeria has really, you know, attracted a whole lot of uh, significant foreign investment, and Nigeria has the potential to attract more foreign investment, but only if the government creates a conducive environment and demonstrates integrity. The money to develop Nigeria is out there, but that money will not come in unless we create a conducive environment for that money to come in, he added. What Nigeria has done in the good days when things were going well are still there and can still be done today if we put ourselves and if we are honest with ourselves to show character. This is coming from Olushego Obasanjo. So my country people, in this Obasanjo's uh, internet, Obasanjo has really shared more light on what's really happening concerning uh, how Abdul Salami almost denied Nigeria the sum of $280 million telecom deal. Yes, Obasanjo narrated how the then former military head of state General Abdul Salami Abubakar almost denied Nigeria this huge amount of te- uh, telecommunications deal. Obasanjo said when Nigeria was about to transit from landlines to telephone to mobile phone, so major telecommunication companies approached the country 
seeking to provide mobile lines for the citizen. But Ab- Abu Bakr wanted to award the deal to his friend for $3 million. And the former president, however, suggested that the contract should be auctioned and the highest bidder awarded the contract, leading to about $28 million uh, sale. He spoke at the launch of a book titled The Catalyst Nigerian ICT Revolution Through a Journalist Lens, authored by the immediate past editor of The Punch. These are reactions from Nigerians. As long as we are in this country, everything keeps turning upside down. OBJ is the worst government that privatized government property, including NEPA. Obasanjo seems to be a good man now, not when he was the president. None of them are sent, but all for selfish interest. I think Abdusalami, I think Abdusalami did well compared to Obasanjo. During Obasanjo, there were massacres in the country. It wasn't easy. So many Nigerians couldn't afford the lines and and buy a mobile a mobile phone. Lines were sold for 30k as far back as 25 years ago, and per minute charging with people rushing to end calls. That was when Glow was launched about two years later. That MTN was humbled. So far, two years, many Nigerians couldn't afford cell phones. But that is not the same anymore. Well, this is why Tinibu and his collaborators will always find one thing to criticize Basanjo with. Kudos to the former president of Nigeria, Basanjo, for his positive and for his positive developmental contributions to Nigeria during his tenure as a democratic president. We know what happened and we will not forget. Okay, guys, these are reactions from Nigerians. So, my country people, what are your thoughts on this? Uh, Most times, people go online and refer to the internet we are using today as the Obasanjo internet because he keyed into the idea of, you know, what we are enjoying today when he was the president. I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts on this in the comments section. Thank you.